back with our second conversation for this morning. Just like that, Just like April, that. we went from mojitos to makeup, makeup. two M's. But uh, this one now is about beautifying <laughs> our face. The first one now is about getting that beautiful energy out of us. Okay. And now we're going to beautify our faces with none other than Alison Castillo. And she, of course, is the owner and makeup artist at Glow with Ali. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you guys for having me. It is a pleasure. I, I understand that you have something special lined up for us. But Tell before we get into that, right, she is here to do our makeup. Mm -hmm. But one of the the questions that I have is, how, how do you differentiate doing Christmas makeup from ordinary makeup? Mm. Well, it all depends on what my client is asking me to do. Mm -hmm. So Christmas makeup, um, it's not really different from regular makeup mm -hmm. that I do. So if my client comes in and asks me for a soft glam, but they want a little shimmer on their eyes, I guess that could be considered Christmas makeup, right? Okay. Or maybe with the colors I use, if they want a little red and green for their Christmas party, then that could be considered Christmas makeup. So is there different, I guess the word is levels to makeup in terms of, like you say, use the word soft glam, is there a hard glam as well? <laughs> there's a full face glam, uh -huh. there's soft glam, and then there's very minimal natural makeup. Oh, okay. So what I would maybe, and what I do for you would be called TV makeup. TV so it's not makeup? So it's, yes, so um, the cameras kind of tend to focus on your, uh -huh. you know, your little imperfections. Mm -hmm. So uh. you would cover, you would conceal, make mm -hmm. sure there's no dark spots, try to hide your pores. Mm -hmm. So that's TV makeup. And that's, that's, what, that's what we're doing on Paul today. What are yes. you doing on me this morning? So this morning I'm doing a little soft glam on you. Mm -hmm. So maybe a little Christmas party look. Or you could you could use it for anything, a photo <laughs> shoot, to go have dinner, whatever you prefer. So when you get, when you are um, tasked in in, hire, in doing makeup for somebody, what are some of the tips that you would ask somebody to do before they come in? Um, nothing really. <laughs> Just come with a smile. Just um, bring your face. <laughs> I do all the skincare prep, so I prep your skin, clean your skin, prep your skin. Um, that includes moisturizing and priming your skin. Mm -hmm and then we get to work on the makeup. I even sometimes offer to do their brows for them mm -hmm. if they want a cleaner brow look, mm -hmm. um, but makeup hides everything, so uh, it's not always true. necessary. So what are what is one um, really good tip that you would have for somebody that's just learning to do their makeup? Like they don't know nothing, they don't know about match, they don't know what the light tones and undertones and hard tones and all of these things, so what would be your first tip? Go to YouTube. <laughs> YouTube taught me everything I know. Wow. Um, wow. So um, do your research on what you said, your skin tone, your undertones. Mm -hmm. Those are very important when you're doing makeup. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Right. So right. let's get started. Well, let's Alison. Get what are we doing? Started. You said a soft, glam yes. makeup. What does the, you are going to be explaining that to us as you are doing my makeup? So what I'm going to do on you is um, it's it's very light on your face mm -hmm. and, and we're going to do a little shimmer on your eyes to match mm -hmm. your little <laughs> backdrop <laughs> um, to get in the Christmas spirit, right? Okay. So we're going to do like a little silver shimmer on your eyes. Nice. And um, well, you already have on lipstick and I like the color of your lipstick. So I think we're going to mm -hmm. work with that today. Mm -hmm. So off camera, I prepped your skin. Yes, what I did, did, we, did what, Do you want to tell our viewers what, what you prepped my skin with this So morning? I cleanse your skin with a toner mm -hmm. that helps to tighten your pores so that they don't look you know too <laughs> yeah they don't look too open on camera okay. or anywhere <laughs> and then i moisturize your skin because regardless of having oily skin or not you need to moisturize your skin mm -hmm. and um then i also prepped your skin with a primer okay. so that that allows the makeup to set in nicely so what I'm going to do, usually I start with brows. So that's what I'm going to start with today. Never done my eyebrows before. So you this haven't? Is all, this is all new to me. <laughs> um, what are you using? So I use Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a pomade. Okay. But you can use an eyebrow pencil. You use whatever works for you. And just brush up your brows. And then I'll lightly fill them in. I don't like to go too heavy on brows. Um, so I'll just start at the bottom, work my way in. Mm. I kind of like outline your brows. Mm. 
and, and I fill in lightly. What is the trend for brows at this, this time of the year? I see so many different looks lately. Um, I think the trending brows right now are when you kind of, you, you don't really fill in too much. Mm -hmm. There is um, actually an eyebrow gel that you can use to set down the hairs mm -hmm. and you kind of brush them out and maybe put a little fill in them, mm -hmm. but that's about it. I notice people are moving away from filling it in too darkly. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that trend because I like when brows look natural. More natural look. Right. right. Yeah. So that's the trend I'm following right now. Okay. Looking beautiful already, <laughs> April. So, uh, Ali, while you continue to do April's makeup, uh, tell me a bit about your business and how you started uh, to do makeup. Like you said, you learned all of you that you know on YouTube. Right. <laughs> so um, I was actually gifted many, many years ago and a makeup brush set mm -hmm. and also a very expensive eyeshadow palette. And I was very confused to so why they gave me this palette because <laughs> I had no idea how to use this palette. Yeah. Um, but after that, I started playing around with it. Mm -hmm. And that was the start of my journey. Really? Um, I did makeup on myself and then, I mean, no, I lied, the makeup may look terrible. Well, <laughs> I can imagine that we first all have tries, to start right? somewhere, right? Of course. And then I moved on to practicing on my sister and my mom. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I need to make some money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's do this. Yeah. And how long have you been in it now? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I did my first makeup look in 2019, 2018. Ooh. At the end of 2018, it was a bridal makeup look. And I'm so thankful she trusted me. The makeup yeah. looked beautiful. Yeah. Um, that was the first makeup look I've ever done. Uh, so at what point did you realize, you know what, I could actually do this thing, get into business and make some money off of this? That same point where I did that bridal makeup, ah. that was, that's when I was like, okay, let's do this then. Yeah. Do you build a lot of traction off of the images that your clients share and like what you call it, like ref references? Yes. Um, I usually ask for somebody to bring in I usually ask my clients to show me what they would like to get done mm -hmm. so that I kind of have an idea. I don't like to mock the exact same picture mm -hmm. because I like to put my own little twist on it. Mm -hmm. But yes, I do um, okay. I do ask for a little reference photo awesome. from time to time. Are you the type that, that goes um, full on artsy sometimes with your I eyeshadows? Do. I do stuff. like to be given the creative um, space. space. Yeah. I guess that's the word. Um, I like when they bring me a little challenge to do. Mm. I love giving. I love being given that authority to just do whatever. Yeah. Well, I'll right tell now. you what, Ali. Like I, right I, I love it. I love. I love when uh, young entrepreneurs step up to the challenge mm. and make something out of a founded or new founded gift and talent. This is exactly what you are doing. Here. So what is it that you're doing right now with April's eyes? So after I fill in the brows lightly, I put a, a little bit of concealer underneath to line the brows. And this just helps to bring out the eyebrows a little bit. Um, and it gives it that perfect shape that I'm looking for. So I just put a little concealer underneath. Okay. And yep. then we'll okay. put that all over her eyes, sorry. I'll be the first to admit I don't know the difference me, between me don't know nothing, a Paul. concealer and a revealer. <laughs> Listen, but I just know that once you do it right, it looks amazing. Thanks. So you're doing this and it seems as if it almost like what you put on a razor blade to your eyebrow to make it look Right, it looks sharp. Straight, yes. yes. So that's, that's what I did um, when I filled in her brows. Mm. I kind of lined it with the fill and then the concealer helps to give it that sharp look that I want to achieve. How do you gauge um, different foundations for persons with different skin types? So like I kind of have semi-oily skin. Right. So um, there are different foundations that are made. So there's foundations for oily skin, foundation for dry skin or combination skin. Um, there's different foundations that you can use, but it, it also 
has a lot to do with like your skin prep so so before i would usually ask um what what type of skin you have mm -hmm. so that i know how to prepare um your makeup you know and then i know if i need to put more powder less powder and that's how i know how to go from there have you ever made a mistake whereby you just have to wipe off well, a lot of things and then put it on back yes i've made a mistake so when it comes to matching skin tones yeah um Makeup is expensive, you know, so it it's, not, it's not possible to have everybody's skin tone, their foundation oh, match. Okay. So what I would do is I would mix, if I don't have your foundation match, I mix it and mix it until I get it. Uh -huh. um, but there has been times where I've mixed before and I didn't like the match and I had to wipe it off. Mm. Um, so that's where I probably made mistakes before. How do you match foundation to the face or to like the, the neck and the chest? Sorry. So when my client walks in, I watch everything. I watch your neck area, Yay. your arms. I watch everything because, you know, people get sunburned and that's out of our control. So I would make sure that I try to match the complete body mm -hmm. as best as possible. Um, I, I go mostly for the neck area just because that's the immediate area that will be seen first okay. um, but I do want to also match the rest of your body I don't want your face and your neck to be one color and then your your body another color so tell me what you're doing there now so right now I'm putting on a little eyeshadow yeah. I've already put concealer on her eyes that acts as my primer mm -hmm. um, what does primer do? That like when you're the paint house. That's that's the first step yep. in painting, in yep. makeup too, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that lays the foundation kind of. Mm -hmm. That allows your makeup to stay in place. Allows your paint to stay in place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that's what I did. And then I'm just putting on a little neutral color as my base shadow. How do you make it as a makeup artist? How do I make it? Mm -hmm. Well, thankfully, a lot of people want to do their makeup um, for many different events. Yeah. So I do makeup for photo shoots, birthday parties, baby showers, weddings, anything that needs to be done. I do makeup for artists. I do make, I've do. i been doing Miss Belize's makeup. So, you know, there's so many different people that needs to get their makeup done for different events so you are you so so you've been working with this year's miss belize right from okay. the start from the start from the very get go okay. so you follow her around um but she comes to you it depends what we're doing yeah. if if she needs her makeup done and we have enough time she'll come to me yeah. but like for the pageant day i went to her of course backstage with her Okay. Well, so it's a so it's something where a, a, a potential client can hire you to come to them. Yes, is that a part of your package? I do offer house calls in mm. Belize City okay. um, for a little extra fee. Of you know, course, gas expense. yes, <laughs> my dad's like thirteen. Mm. Well, how much your premium? Right? Seventeen dollars, mm. thirteen for regular. So you offer house service. I do offer house services, and if you are located anywhere else in the country. I do travel to you, but um, I would need my transportation fees covered okay. as well. Indeed. And if it's an overnight event, you'd ask for um, lodging? Hotel, yes, correct. Lodging and transportation fees. So I feel like you're moving into something different on my eyes. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little darker brown on that first neutral shade, mm -hmm. right in your outer crease, it's called, on, your, on the edge of your eye. Um, and that just gives me the depth that I want to create on your eyes. If you are already transformed, if you would only see how you look right now. <laughs> People shouldn't be known that we know how to shape shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely a skill. Makeup is art. Yes. You need to be able to it transform. Is. So tell me one uh, uh, an experience that you've had in terms of of putting on on makeup and you are really really proud of your end product um i've had many of those mm -hmm. um i have sometimes 
where my clients sit down and I'm like, you know what? I just know this makeup is gonna be perfect. Let me take a before and after picture. And um, one of those moments was definitely with Miss Belize, Miss Ashley Lightburn, mm -hmm. um, doing her makeup backstage for her to go on the big stage and the probably walk in my makeup right. Um, yeah. That was a big moment for me. I was very, very proud of that. Yeah. That's definitely one of my proudest moments as a makeup artist. Wow. So you, so you guys, you know that when you saw Ashley walk on that stage that night, looking so lovely, it was actually Glow with Ali that hooked her up that night. So, I mean, come on. You, if you want to see the work, well, that's one good representation of her work right there. So, Ali, you talked about uh, home services, but you also have a studio, right? Yes, I do have a studio. I am located on Sunflower Street, mm -hmm. the corner of Sunflower Street and Police Street. Okay. That's where I work from currently. And do you have like any space available still for this Christmas season? Or are you all Ooh, these out? weekends are crazy oh my for gosh. me. I I would have to check my schedule okay. honestly. But is it like something where you start working early in the morning and you go late into the night? Um, it's mostly afternoons. Okay. and evenings right now just mm -hmm. because a lot of christmas parties are happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but i do offer makeup from very early in the morning okay so if you walk home early um beat the rush you could probably do that right and how can people contact you for your services i am look i well i am located on sunflower street so you can come see me there or you can send me a message um on instagram on facebook I have business pages, Glowy Ali is on Facebook and Instagram, and you can also text me or call me, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you guys want me to say my number. Yes. Um, <laughs> my number is 610-7643. 610-7643. That's right. Glow with Ali. Glow with Ali. And Ali is making me glow right now. I feel like she did something different. Well, tell me what she did do. She... Put her something black under your eyelash. <laughs> Above the eyelash. Above part. the eyelash. I apologize. <laughs> See, so he's not a makeup artist. I put on a little shimmer, a little silver shimmer on your eyes. Yeah. And now I'm putting on a little eyeliner. Eyeliner, that's what it is. Yes. <laughs> this little black thing is eyeliner. Okay. Paul, you should know this by now. Come on. Listen, right? <laughs> And how much do you charge for your services? Or do you have any deals this Christmas? Um, right now my prices are well, my prices always are sixty without lashes or sixty-five with lashes, and then I provide those lashes for you. That's that's a, that's an affordable price. It it's, is. it's a very competitive price in this market. I would say you know, don't miss Belize makeup and you Miss Universe you. Belize makeup. And listen, you, you, you could probably charge a hundred dollars or people know I'm mine. I don't think my price are going to be raised anytime soon. Really? I still want to remain affordable yeah. for people, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't want to take my prices higher. Yeah. I think that's where it's gonna I stay. imagine you serve a wide variety of clients from all kinds of backgrounds, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. And so you wanna keep those prices affordable. Since you opened in twenty eighteen. What was it like for you during the COVID-19 pandemic? Were people still getting their makeups done? No, it was very hard. No one was doing makeup. Um, well, actually, there were a few mm -hmm. um, because, you know, people still wanted their prom experience. People yeah. still wanted to get graduation pictures. Mm -hmm. um, so they did photo shoots for those and so they got their makeup done. So it was seasonal. Yes, it was, but it was very, very slow compared wow. to usual. You was, know, it, it, it was a hard time for everybody. So Yeah, was there any point during that time that you felt like giving up and moving on to something else? No, I knew that I wanted to wait until the economy kicks back up and start providing my service again. So what did you do? Did you, did you use that time to like practice and perfect your craft? I use that time to spend it with my baby. Um, I have a little two-year-old, so yeah. I use that time. Well, 
she was born in 2020 so yeah i used that time to stay home with her is it like is, is she now like a little budding makeup artist like yourself <laughs> like, Mommy, make I play makeup? not yet not yet but i'm sure she will get into it uh, eventually that is awesome <laughs> she likes to play with my brushes okay so well I know there that you go that's the start yes yeah, so next thing you'll have to put up that thing for her <laughs> I have to hide it. Right? Open Waste seat. expensive makeup. Wow. So now she's doing the bottom lash. The bottom. Yes, your eye line. Um, so I'm just putting a little darker color here. Mm -hmm. That helps to bring out your eyes a little bit. Okay. So I noticed that other makeup artists, they usually start with the skin and then go with the... With the eyes. With the eyes. Yes. You kind of did a reverse. That's right. I prefer to start with your eyes just because with eyeshadow, there's a lot of fallout mm. or mascara. It can get messy, right? Right. So I start with your eyes first so, so that I can... brush that off. Right. I could clean up the area and then set the skin because if I do the reverse, which is fine, you're allowed to do whatever you yeah. know you want. But if I start with your skin, and if any makeup falls on it, if any eyeshadow falls on it, then I have to start over. So I do start with eyes first. So what's the vision for you and your business? What's the vision for Glow with Ali moving into 2023 and the future? Um, hmm, tough question. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I asked the hard questions. Kind of put me on the spot. But, <laughs> um, I just would like my business to continue flourishing. I've met a lot of people doing makeup and I would like to continue meeting people. Um, I want to continue working with bigger names. I've worked with people like Melanie Gillet and Denise Castillo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I would like to continue that trend. But I do also like, you know, the, mm -hmm. my usual everyday people that just want to get their makeup done for, for a dinner. Um, so going forward, I just want my business to continue growing and to continue meeting people. Right. So I see you now you paint my face. painting April's face. What is it that we're doing at this point? So now I'm applying her foundation. Okay. Um, I did her skin match already. It's looking good. She did it good. off camera. So you did that off camera? Yes, yeah, to that's mix what some, I mix some foundation. Is it like, is this like a specific color or tone? Right, so that's what I was doing. So remember I said that I might not have everybody's yeah. skin tone match, right? So, well, everybody's exact foundation match. So what I did was I mixed her foundation off camera since that would have taken a little time. Is there a name for this specific uh, color or tone? No, this is just a foundation in, I think I used LA girl for her um la girl pro conceal was the name of the foundation i used for her what's interesting is uh, that the color that matches you have on me completely face matches your neck yes. like the color of your neck it's, it's so blended i know sometimes not for talk bad about people but sometimes you see uh, how how some people okay. do their makeup and the face looks like a completely different color from their neck and it's like wait that definitely make up i could tell us why look your face another color because <laughs> your neck color different I, I mean sometimes you get it wrong and i think it's the lighting right like right. you know I, the lighting plays a big role when doing your makeup so when i mm -hmm. at my studio i have you in front of a mirror mm -hmm. with a very bright light on your skin so that i can tell that it's matching the way i need it to match yeah I mean, just doing eyebrows alone for, um, transforms somebody's right. face. Now, tell me something, right? Because we, we're so accustomed to makeup for women, but there's also makeup for men, for men where yeah. you mm -hmm. could do like television makeup for men. Is that something you do as well? Yes, I do offer TV makeup as well. TV makeup. That's what I call it, right? So yeah. you know, across six o'clock in the morning for the men makeup. Yes. <laughs> you should hire she, right? Yes. So, yeah, go ahead. Um, TV makeup. It, it's for male and females. Uh -huh. um, it's really just to conceal your little dark spots uh -huh. and make your face not look so washed out on camera. Uh -huh. um, so that's that's what TV makeup is. And yes, I do provide that for men as well. Okay, 
Yes, we're gonna get to Paul soon, no worries. <laughs> Thank you. 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 smooth okay um it sets in the makeup that's already on your face okay. and um, it just gives that perfect finished look back. and is this like the finishing touches for april's uh makeup we still have a little blush and bronzer okay. to put on All right. but this this is called baking baking so, yes so when i put your setting powder on i leave it to bake on man your i'm learning so much this morning no, no, no. <laughs> we're paint the house to, to, to bake, bake the my face. <laughs> it's, it's yeah okay yeah. and what does this do you say it makes the skin look smooth smooth it, it hides your pores it just gives that flawless finish that you want to achieve so how for, for one of your clients that wants to do something like this, I know we're clocking the time, uh, but how long would it take before you get the, should your client expect to be in the seat to do uh, a, a simple process like this? Um, something very simple like this would take about half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour. It, it de all depends on the look you want to go for. So um, yeah. it I would put anywhere between half an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah. I try not to go over that. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want a very detailed eye look, yeah. so I take my time with that. So, so that may be up to two hours sometimes. An hour 15. An I hour try not 15. to go past that. All right. right. And then for like if you're doing TV makeup, that's that's faster. This is fast. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is All right. quick thing. This is All about right. 20 minutes. All right, um, so you know, it's not to put on an entire face of makeup. It's just to, to hide all the yes. Yeah, so yeah. to conceal, it doesn't take so, too long. So due to time, this morning we'll just have time to do April's face. I'm a bit sad about that. You could that. do it off camera, Paul. You could <laughs> do a little touch up for your face. Perhaps, mm -hmm. right? So whenever we're finished with April, we'll give uh, our cameras uh, April's. I know look. April, have you seen what you look no, like so far? Not I can't yet. Really. Well we'll give the camera your She's final just about look. Done. I just know that the eyebrows make me look different because I never fill it in. Mm -hmm. So I probably yeah. yeah. So we'll get those final touches in for April. Glow and with Ali. From Glow with Ali. Of course, guys, this is Glow with Ali, Alison Castillo. She's the owner and makeup artist at Glow with Ali. And, she's and you can find her all over her socials. So you have you have Glow with Ali Instagram. Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. Glow right. with Ali Instagram. And do you have like a TikTok page please? where you I, do tutorials and stuff like that? I don't, but I've been asked to do it. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think people would enjoy that. So of it's course. definitely something that I'm looking into doing. Yeah, you should consider doing that. Yes, very much. So April is just about finished. Mm -hmm. All I put on is a little highlighter. I like to highlight the higher point of the nose. Um, I don't do all of this for TV makeup because mm -hmm. highlighter does on camera it can come off as maybe greasy or too yeah. shiny. Yes, right? yes. So, but this is Man, what I would do for April. a little soft glam. Like you got all these sexy data for this. <laughs> I have a Christmas party apparently. Mm -hmm. So this is about done. What I'll do is I'll set your face with setting spray. Okay. Um, I'll just spray. Are you ready? Uh -huh. A lot of people think that wetting the face would probably do the reverse and mess up the makeup, right? But setting spray allows that makeup to set in yeah. nicely. And I like they varnish your face. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you thinking of painting your house, Paul? <laughs> I, I probably have some work to do there. Exactly. Yeah. That's why. All wow. Right. All right. Product. So that's her finished look. All right. So so let's go one more time, Ali. As we wrap up, let's go through. Uh, tell us a bit about the steps you took. I know it's a lot that happened, but tell us a bit about the steps you took to get to. That. that. Okay. Wow, that. So <laughs> from the start, I prepped her, I cleansed her skin, mm -hmm. moisturized, primed her skin, mm -hmm. and then we went in with the brows, a very light filling in her brows. We concealed the little dark spot on her eyelids. 
put on a little eyeshadow with her shimmer and then we started with this skin we went in foundation concealer setting powder a little bronzer and blush and then she was all ready <laughs> So she's looking very beautiful. April, right how do you <laughs> like it? I can't see it. Look at it. Like it. Oh. I like that concealer though. Yes. Oh yeah. You it's look, very nice. Girl, you look good. It's not too much at all. I, know that I am not a big makeup person, so this is something that I would yeah. rock. Right. It's very, nice. very light makeup. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nothing too heavy. Well, Glow with Ali, highly recommended. There you go. <laughs> you get five stars from and, April. And she did it. She took 20 minutes. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much, Ali. You're Thank most you, welcome. Ali. And of course, you. one more time, me. Glow with Ali and your number of um, where people can contact. 610-7643. Right, 610-7643, go right. with Ali. Thank you so much. We're on the Paul makeup and commercial break now. Yes, we're going <laughs> to go off camera and get Paul's makeup done. <laughs> so we have one more M, Paul. So we did mm, Mojito. We did, we did makeup, makeup. And now we have Medinas. Medinas. <laughs> so you don't want works. to miss for some Christmas shopping men. Pay attention. Mm. We'll be right back. <laughs>